Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Hello, I am Liberty and today we're going to go in and talk about some of my favourite jackets that I have been absolutely living in and what I'll probably be continuing to wear throughout winter. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm feeling really camera shy today, what's going on? I was watching a lot of my um, old videos back last night and I can't believe how far I've come already in terms of confidence with the camera and talking. Like I was watching my first few videos and I was like, who is that person? I could tell that I was really reeling myself in a bit. And it's just crazy how already I feel so much more confident. Already gone on a tangent. But yeah, so jackets. I feel like this is why a lot of people prefer summer clothing to winter clothing. You don't have to worry about pairing your outfit that you've put together with a jacket. You don't have to think, oh, I love that outfit. But the jacket kills the vibe. I was that girl on a night out that refused to wear a jacket and would be absolutely freezing because it killed the vibe. The jacket would have killed the outfit. So I'd have rather been absolutely freezing my little tiddaroonies off rather than be nice and warm. <laughs> and also, just in general, day to day, once you've found your staple jackets, you're sorted. And I feel like I'm finally at a place where a good handful of jackets that I know go with certain vibes, that are good for nights out, that are good for keeping me warm, that are good for kind of just an accessory. And yes, we're just gonna get cracking with probably one of my all time faves. This is a leather bomber jacket. A leather bomber jacket, will always forever be in my wardrobe now. I love the fit of a leather bomber. Let me go back. So it's from BDG, it's very padded inside. It's a really nice, dirty gray color. It's kind of got a warmness to it. The zip's really cool, it's really rustic. And obviously at the bottom, the main thing about a bomber jacket is the way it's puffy and it kind of goes in at the end. And yes, for size reference, I got the size medium because this was already, the fit was already oversized. The inside of this one as well is that like cross material. It's super, super thick. This generally does keep me warm if I have like a scarf and gloves on. I wouldn't choose it over a warmer coat to wear, like say if we're going for a walk or something. But I wouldn't say this is an accessory jacket. It does do the job that a coat should do if that makes sense because I do feel like there's some coats and jackets out there especially at this time of year that we'd love to wear but aren't going to keep us warm enough realistically and I feel like this is a good winter coat to opt for so how I would personally style this is low-rise jeans a knit like this or just like a tight fit top a graphic tee and this and you can add a scarf at this time of year a little hat a cap there's endless amounts of ways you can style this. I'd say the best tip with all of these jackets, make sure you're buying something that you like the colour of. You don't want to be buying this in like say navy when you know you don't wear a lot of navy. Get a colour you know you're going to style really well because the thing is with nights out and things, say if you want a really nice bright dress or you want to go for something red or something like that, you want to know that you've got multiple jackets at home that are going to match that outfit. And I feel like a grey jacket is just super, super easy. I'm going to pop it on. So this is the fit. I mean, just look how cool it is. I'll show you the arms. Very just perfect fit in the back. It's not the best try on, but. And I just love the logo of BDG. BDG is a brand that I'm obsessed with from Urban Outfitters and I am always buying Let's it. talk puffer jackets now. This is probably my oldest jacket out of all of the ones I'm showing you. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I just went to go get it from downstairs. Your girl is so unfit and she's doing, um, I'm doing a marathon in April. <laughs> I don't know why I agreed to it. Why did I do that? And I used to dance. Like I used to have really good cardiovascular fitness. <laughs> and now your girl is so unfit that I'm panting from coming up and like running down and back up the stairs. Like, what is that? I'm, I really want to take, I'm going on a tangent, really want to do start running, but I don't like being cold. I feel like I'd rather start the running journey, the running era in summer because I can wear my little shorts, I can just run up the lane. Because I mean, I live in the countryside, I can go on really scenic routes and see the lambs and the sheep and all that jazz. So she's gonna be unfit until spring, I feel like. Anyway, back to the jacket. I got this from Misguided. You can get so many puffer jackets though. I just love how this one's a proper balloon puffer, you know, like really big puffer. <laughs> So this one is misguided. I don't know if it will still be on there, but if it is, I got it in UK 10. 
I just love the vibe of this. I also love that it has the drawstring. I feel like that's always good on a puffer because as you draw it in, you can make it appear a bit more puffy vibes. The only thing is with a lighter colour, it's not very practical. There are a few stains in this one that I do have that I can't get out, but it is what it is. But puffer jackets are the thing to wear dog walking. Doing a food shop and you know your supermarket's absolutely freezing. This is actually what I did with my supermarket shop in this morning. This is like a practical going out cute little country park walk with the fam with cute like cream knit and hat. I feel like cream is really nice with an all black outfit or a really like light denim white tee outfit as well. If you are thinking right I like the look of this puffer jacket, I like the style but I don't think cream's a bit of me, that's a wise choice because this jacket does get dirty on the regular and it's just a right faff. But it is sick and I just wanted to incorporate it because puffer jackets are very important at this time of year to keep you nice and toasty like a little marshmallow, all warm. Let me pop it on. I like a puffer with no hood. Scrap the hood, it's too much. It's just like, you're literally like this. <laughs> the reason I like this puffer jacket is because of this neck. So I can button this all the way up, get this around and you can properly just keep yourself warm. This is where the makeup kind of plays its toll. It's just the perfect puffer. Look at the fit of it. Also a good thing with puffers is when they have this extra part on here, it's great for when you want to keep your hands warm. Pockets obviously are great and yes, you just can't go wrong with a puffer uni. My brother has the North Face puffer. I'm always, always stealing that and you can't go wrong with the North Face. So if you're wanting to invest in one, that's good, good, amazing quality and it's going to last you a good while. Look at the North Face ones. This is a recent find. I had been stealing one very similar from my mum's wardrobe for ages and I will continue to steal because I purposely got one in a different colour so that we could both, you know, fitted leather jacket. Bomb is a bit more practical if you want to layer because with a, with a fitted product, you can't really put thick, like a hoodie underneath a fitted jacket because you just are walking like this. <laughs> Whereas with the leather bomber, you're still getting that cool biker leather vibe, but you can actually fit layers underneath. So I say this one isn't very practical in terms of day to day, but this is a good night out option where You've got a nice like tight lace bodysuit on or something like that. With black heels, you want a jacket that's a vibe, but not kind of taken away from the outfit. This is a moment. So this was a vintage find. It's from old Topshop. So it, I don't know if you'll be able to find this exact one, but there are so many. If you just type in on either Vinted or the website that you're looking on, like ASOS or something, if you type in fitted leather jacket, there'll be loads that I like this style. Also, the colour is this gorgeous, like really deep, plummy, burgundy colour. And I haven't got a jacket like this. So this would look sick with like an all black evening. You're going for an evening meal with your boyfriend. Your hair's really slicked back and you've got like a vampy lip on. This would look sick. So this is a good night out in winter jacket. Also, this was below £10. This was three pounds no dodginess no like wear and tear anywhere if you haven't got the vintage app honestly i swear i swear by it and i sell so much stuff on there myself i haven't actually gone out in this yet and i'm really excited to be able to i went through a phase of not liking fitted things oversized was my comfort blanket you definitely can't wear something like this jumper underneath this because i do feel like i can't bend my arms but Fitted jacket with low rise jeans, really just cool girl vibe. This one out of all of them is probably the least practical, but it's the best for like a throw over if you want to be warm. <laughs> be now warm. we're talking. This bad boy is my mum's that I kind of have taken under my wing, let's say. It is super long, I'm going to have to stand up. That tight wool material, and it's basically a trench. Look how long it is. This is my cozy coat. If I can't think of what to wear, I will wear this. It's just the one I reach for and I've lived in and my mum has lived in. And it's from Next, which is really random from me. I never shop at Next, but you can get these every single year. They're always in fashion. If you want to invest in one that you know is good quality and going to last a good while, you know that it's always going to be in style. Not very practical with the old colour of it. Also, 
you can literally see as well. So this is like the thing that you tie around. I never use it, I forget about it. And the amount of times you can see the difference of color. Can you, yeah, look, the amount of times I've got in my car, drove to my destination, got out and this bit had been just dangling out the car the whole time. And it's still, yeah, it's, it's got a bit of, it's gone a bit gray. Um, but I don't know why I've still got that. I may as well, you know what? It's going, it's, it's off. She's gone, it, she's not needed, but it's just annoying that then it's left with this, but we always get annoyed by it. So what is the actual point? So she's gone. The reason I love this is because it keeps you warm. You can be running errands and you can whack this on. You could obviously style this up on like a day trip with the fam. It's just an all round great thing to have in the wardrobe. I bet there's loads on Vinted as well. Little snuggly bug in a rug. Is that the saying? Snug as a bug in a rug, that's the saying. So, so nice. Honestly, the coziest thing ever. Basically looks like a dressing gown, I'm not going to lie. I'll switch from this in the autumn and winter to then my trench coat that's similar to this, but a bit lighter in the spring. Trench coats are obviously a vibe, but they are not a vibe in winter when you're absolutely freezing. If you're feeling like your trench is not keeping you warm, grab yourself a tight knit wool jacket. They're literally sold on so many different websites. How I would style this particular one, because it's so light, I would wear it with like what I'm wearing today. So like knit, a knit cozy like cozy vibe. I could wear this with some black leggings, a black hoodie and like a cap. Honestly, endless basic tee and jeans. You, you just can't go wrong. And I just feel like these jackets make you look put together really easily. Second to last one I'm gonna show. I am so happy these have come back in trend. I can't lie. Fur jackets, faux fur jackets or coats, shall we say. When these came back in, I'd say they've been around for a good few months now. I was not here for it. I was a bit like, because I used to live in these when I was at secondary school. PTSD, you know, you know when you've got that era of your life you don't want to relive. So when I was seeing that these were coming back in trend, I was like, your girl is not hopping on that trend. Like there's no chance. And then I was seeing girls style it with like sleek hair and they had their like headphones on and they had like an athleisure outfit underneath or like a hoodie. And I was like, oh my God, that actually looks really sick. So I was not about to pay full price for a brand new one in case I didn't live in it. So your girl went back on Vinted. This is a Vinted find below 10 pounds. It's from H&M. It literally looks as if it's never been worn. And this is Euro 38, so is that size 10? I'm not, I think it's a size 10. And I don't think I would wear this with my hair down it, because it's, it's, it's reminding me of when I was at secondary school, but this with really sleek back hair, really small, like Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner vibe sunglasses. It's like model off, what's the, what's the saying? model off duty is that the word but right now it's giving what i used to look like when i used to go to family parties <laughs> especially with this bloody headband in honestly but i love the color of this i feel like this color really suits the copper hair and yes if you haven't hopped on the trend and you want to give it a go first things first see if your mum or your older sister or someone has one tucked away somewhere if not go on vintage yeah, I've seen some with some girls with the really long ones. I could have got this one even more oversized and I feel like the more I wear this, the more I think I could get another one. But your girl's trying to save the Munzee. It's January, we can't be going crazy. We're getting ready. We're saving for the summer holidays and all that jazz. So she's being sensible. This is honestly sick. I can really envision this. <laughs> You're probably like, what the hell is that? So it's a bomber jacket. I love a bomber jacket. I feel like I've got quite a couple now and I just feel like they're so good because you can really style them up and style them down, especially one like this. This is good for a night out. So if you are like trying to save the money in January, February, March, but you've got like an event coming up with your friends and you don't want to buy a full outfit, but you want part of the outfit to be a moment, you've got some cool like pointy leather shoes at home that are really in right now low rise denim jeans and like a tiny little like black tee or like a just a basic like skins-esque spiky bun this 
how sick is that edgy queen vibe sort of thing. The only annoying thing with this one, you'll see what I mean, is this. The noise, <laughs> if you couldn't tell from that. So if I was to wear this out on a date, I'd do this. I do this a lot. Sometimes a jacket on a night out looks better over your shoulders like this. And if you're cold, you're just walking, you're just holding it like that. And then when you're inside, you can just whack it off sort of thing. Don't know if anyone else does that. Like they don't, they buy a jacket and like they never actually wear it as a jacket. They wear it as like a bloody scarf, but it, sometimes it just looks cool. It looks like she knows what she's doing and then it falls off, like flies off in the wind and then it's a cringe, but. <laughs> this one is from ASOS Design. I can remember it being really oversized and thinking, what size do I get this in? I bought it in a six and an eight, and the six was the one that I kept. So be wary if you really like the vibe of this jacket, it comes absolutely massive already. Like this is humongous, but it's got like all the bomber jacket classic features, all that jazz. And yeah, it's just sick. This is a jacket that like, people will be like, whoa, she's cool because it's not very common that you see a really shiny blue bomber jacket like this. But when I saw it on ASOS a while back, I was like, I have, I have to, I have to have that. I've got a massive pile of coats on my floor now. I really need to, that's the one thing after filming the video, the, the state of your room afterwards. But yes, I feel like this is gonna be a super quick video, but I didn't wanna make it any more than it was. I wanted this to be a really just nice, You've Googled, you want some inspo and you're just like, right, now I feel motivated about jackets and things. Cause it's just mastering what jackets you like. It's tricky. And I feel like once you've found a good couple of jackets to live in, you can't go wrong. And if you're anything like me and your mum has some good jackets, you know, just share your jackets, you know, like saves a lot of money because that's the only thing. They tend to be a more expensive piece and to get a good quality one, you wanna spend a bit more to make sure it's good quality. Unless you just want like one that's gonna last last not too long, maybe just to last you that winter or just a classic like work jacket to throw on, you're not really bothered about it bobbling or anything, then don't worry about spending too much. But also Vinted is just great for jackets, especially at this time of year. And yes, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it and you are new here, be sure to like and subscribe. I will really, really appreciate it. And comment anything down below that you found helpful, any tips that you can give me and all that jazz. And yes, I shall see you in my next one. Bye-bye.